everybody. Happy Talk to Me Tuesday, although it's Thursday here. And I haven't done a video in a very long time. That seems to be my MO. Uh, I wanted to pop in because I do have some things to share and I've missed posting. I've missed posting videos and watching all of yours. And so now that uh, the school year started again and I'm easing back into it, I thought, give this a try. Get back in the swing of things. Uh, also, because I got a lovely little package from Jeannie today that was so thoughtful. Um, it had a beautiful magnet. I collect magnets. My fridge is full of magnets. So many magnets. So that will be a beautiful addition. Um, a badge holder. Also beautiful. And a keychain that says TTMT. So I love that. Thank you, Jeannie. Those are so sweet. Uh, let's see what else. Um, over the summer, uh, I have been, uh, well, let's see. So first, back in May, I was uh, planning on going to a Jane Austen conference uh, here in North Carolina. And uh, it was my first time going. Um, it's uh, the Jane Austen summer program um and it is it's basically open to to anyone um i think it was largely academic types like myself but um also just a lot of jane austen fans and uh, i knew uh one that there would be some costumes uh floating around uh, but also that there was going to be a ball on the last night of the of of the event and so uh, I, well, I don't, I don't have a proper Regency ball gown. Uh, so I had to make one, obviously, um, which I did in like three days before the actual conference. Um, so the conference was like one of the first weeks in June. And I, you know, I said, I says to myself, I says, Jordan, surely you can wait until school's over and you'll have plenty of time to put together your ball gown before you leave for the conference and you know again like three days before I was actually hemming like the night before the ball <laughs> in the dorm room where I was staying I was just watching call the midwife and and hemming forever <laughs> but it was worth it I got a lot of compliments uh, so I will uh, I'll post some like pictures actual pictures of me wearing it um, on on the live journal post because otherwise it's going to be very hard to get an idea of what it looks like uh, but it actually I mean it, it turned out pretty well I you know there's things that I wish that I had done differently and um but but it turned out nicely and I got lots of good compliments so um that is here uh it is a just a, like a white uh off-white cotton um it has a really delicate flower pattern on it, which I thought was pretty because I, you know, that traditionally like the ball, ball gowns are white or ivory and that is not typically my color. I do not usually choose to wear um, super light colors, but uh, so, so I knew I didn't want like white, white uh, and I definitely didn't want something that wasn't patterned. So I definitely spent at least an hour in Joanne stressing about fabric choices and eventually settled on this one. Um, and it's just got little cap sleeves. Um, I put a ribbon around the neckline because I felt like it was too plain. I was going to put ribbon around the edges of the sleeves, but one, I ran out of time and two, it kind of felt unnecessary. Um, but yeah, I mean, otherwise it's really, it's pretty basic. Um, here's the back. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> uh, the back is is fastened with uh, hook and eyes because that's what I had and uh, you know <laughs> that's what I had and uh, also the uh, the hemline the ribbon at the hem hemline also functioned as a drawstring um, as the channel for um, a ribbon to serve as uh, a drawstring that kind of fit it a little better at the neck and uh, and that made a really big difference too I think so it may not have been the most attractive option, but it was fun. Um, and I did get to do a, a decent bit of hand sewing, which I, I enjoy. Like I love hemming things by hand. I don't know if that's weird. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I, you know, I stitched that ribbon on by hand and of course I did the, the hem by hand. And I think I may have, uh, 
also stitched part of the sleeves. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, it was, I mean, it was successful. And I fully intend to go again next year. And uh, I, if I do go again next year, the theme may be Austin versus Bronte, which are, like, two of my favorite things, two of my favorite uh, author groups. And uh, so I definitely want to do a day dress for the actual days, like the, the when we have panels, because people did wear costumes like on the normal days. Uh, and if it is Austin versus Bronte, then I obviously need like a Bronte period because the Jane Austen is the Regency. Uh, the Brontes were like solidly in the Victorian period. So, you know, different, different outfits. Anyway, exciting. So, um, other than that, um, I wanted to finish over uh, the summer, and I didn't quite meet my goals. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to do is the Doctor Who Stitch Along quilt that uh, ten years ago, I, I as I was pulling it out of my to be continued drawer, I got a Facebook notification that of, of me working on the embroidery that was 10 years old. Horrifying. Uh, so I said, it's high time that I quilt this thing. Um, I had everything that I needed to do it. I just didn't. I finished the top and just didn't do anything with it. Um, so I pulled that out of, uh, out of my drawer and, oh God, it was covered in so many threads. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get a great picture, but uh, so basically what I did, and it, I mean it, whatever, my quilting technique is not fantastic, but um, I used stars, like different colored little wooden button stars uh, on each of the panels to, uh, to kind of act to hold it down, because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna like actually like quilt, because I just have a, a normal little sewing machine. Um, but I do have a, a, a friend of the family who quilts and I brought it over to her house and she gave me some tips. So I am kind of gradually working on um, actually quilting. Um, it looks like I'm, I'm gonna try to quilt around the squares, the embroidered squares themselves, um, and then maybe like into the ditch uh, on the edges here. Uh, but, the, but that's it, I'm not gonna do anything super, super crazy. Um, I just wanted to be finished because um, it, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it was, it was a, such a cool stitch along. Um, I helped to design one of the patterns and, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the embroidery work. So it'll be really nice for it to be finished. And I think I'm going to turn it into a wall hanging so I can hang it up going up my stairs. So it's exciting. Here's the TARDIS block and yeah. And then I really, the backing fabric is really cool. Um, and I'm going to be able to use it for the binding as well. Um, it's just this really cool, like sparkly star fabric. So, yeah. Oh God, I'll fold that later. I'll put that over here. Oh boy. Okay. Um, now let's see. I guess the last thing, um, just aside from like little little things um, that I've been working on, is uh, a pottery quilt for my roommate. She does uh, she does pottery for fun at the local Jewish community center. And I bought all the stuff to make her a pottery apron for her birthday last year. And then it didn't happen because, and then this year I said for her birthday, I'll have it done. And then I realized I didn't have enough fabric. And so anyway, she got her pottery apron a couple weeks late. Um, and I still need to make some adjustments because I was trying to do it as a surprise, but I really needed her around. Uh, for her measurements, but it's um, super simple. So it's like a denim. Let's see, it's gonna be big on me. Um, so it's got a, just a, a light blue ribbon for around the neck. And then it sits about here on her. And I'm, uh, you, if you see my pin, I'm moving the waist strap up. Um, as I said, I needed to, I need to adjust. But basically like it'll, um, it'll tie around her waist and I don't know if I can get this in the picture, but uh, it has panels um, here. It won't be as high up on her as it is on me right now, but um, it has panels over the legs so that when she sits at the pottery wheel, her legs will be um, protected from uh, clay. 
and it, it, it goes, you know, it'll go most of the way around her, so it'll protect what she's wearing. And uh, the inside, I thought, was just a really pretty um, lining fabric that I found because I didn't have enough of the one I originally bought. So, yeah, and then I, I asked her if she wanted any kind of decorations, and I think we decided that um, she might find some patches. Um, she loves lots of um, various and sundry nerdy things, and so we thought we could probably find some really cool patches online um, that I could sew onto it because um, she felt like she didn't really need pockets. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's about it. Otherwise, um, back in my classroom, um, so far, so good. We've we've had a about a week and a half with the kids, and uh, everything's going okay, um, despite legislation in our state not being kind to teachers or students. But that's another story for a completely different vlog. And uh, yeah, um, I went to New Zealand this summer. That was very exciting. Um, got a new tattoo, which I love very much. It's kind of like crafting just art on my skin. I know you can't really see that. Whatever. If you really want to see it, I can send you pictures, I guess. Anyway, this video has become way too long. Um, it is lovely, lovely um, to be back with a video. I hope you all are having a fantastic, uh, well, I hope you had a great August and are looking forward to a wonderful September. And I will do my best to get caught up on some of the more recent videos. So uh, thanks guys. Have a good night and uh, happy Talk to Me Tuesday.